when you do the strengthening exercises, um, okay, your muscles may somehow compensate to the uh, the function of the torn ligament, pero hindi hindi 100. No? So kung strong yung muscles mo surrounding the joint, it may help somehow um, provide stability to the joint itself. Pero kung kunyari ka tulad ng ACL, kahit gano kalakas yung muscles around the knee, sometimes hindi niya fully na na sa substitute yung function talaga ng ligament. It may help, it may support, pero hindi siya fully um, hindi siya alternative hindi siya in substitute sense, oh, hindi siya talagang okay. substitute to a missing mm -hmm. ligament, no? So, ayun, so after mo physical therapy, pag talagang unstable pa rin yung feeling ng pasyente, yun nga hindi maka-compensate yung muscles niya dun sa instability na nararamdaman, ang pinaka-end na ng spectrum would be surgery. Sir, sir, Pero Doc, paano naman po ma-avoid yung mga sprains, kunwari po, during exercises? Meron din po bang mga ankle support na mga... Ankle, para bang palakas din. Okay. Uh, nope, I, I wouldn't say that your ankle supports would actually help, help with that. Mm. It, Usually, yung ankle supports, I make the patients wear ankle supports after a sprain mm -hmm. just to make them remember <laughs> parang cast din, parang that they were injured. <laughs> Alam mo yun, may, uy, may nga pala yung ankle sprain, <laughs> meron ako. Oo, oh, oh, <laughs> parang ganyan. Pero in, yun kasi yung problema. I've been asked this question hundreds, maybe thousands in of times in, in the in the entire time that I was practicing orthopedics, ano mong magandang knee support or ankle support? Para saan? Ayan. Mm -hmm. I mean, wala lang, gusto ko lang. Para, ah, hindi kasi ganun yun. Meron kasing indication yung mga supports. Mm -hmm. no? So, there are different supports. There are different classes or kinds of ankle and knee mm -hmm. supports. And, depending kung ano yung problema mo, sa supportan na kailangan ilagay dun sa joint okay. mo, in mm -hmm. essence. Now, if you're going to think, can the ankle support substitute your ligament? Well, yes and no. Because if you're going to use like a very rigid support, like mm -hmm. yung mga tie-up, uh, lace-up support na talagang may bakal sa gilid, malilimitahan niya yung movement na ankle mo. Pero kung football player ka, ayaw mo yun. Mm -hmm. Hirap kumalaw po ng ah. ganun. Hindi mo magagahan oh. talaga yung paa mo eh. <laughs> So it's really going to immobilize you, but will really limit your mobility to the point na hindi mo mapaperform yung yung gusto mo activity na gawin. So in essence, yun nga parang um, is it going to prevent you from having another sprain? Probably, kasi hindi siya gagalaw. <laughs> pero hindi ka rin happy, de ba? Oo. Oh, oh. So and also. Uh, kung hindi naman yung lace-up, tie-up na may mga bakal na support ang isusuot mo, kung ang gagamitin mo naman yung parang medyos lang na yeah, sinuot yeah, mo, hindi rin siya 100% guarantee. No, it's really, as the word implies, supportive support. lang siya. Support. Hindi pa rin siya hindi substitute. Hindi siya substitute. Hindi talagang kaya mo oh, 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 oh. no? And so, um, usually, I just make the patients wear the ankle supports maybe two weeks after their injury. Again, just to remind them that they have just uh, injured themselves. Over. And to help with the swelling. But otherwise, para lang siyang balat sa labas mm -hmm. ng joint mo eh. Mm -hmm. Kasi okay. Dok, sa, ano, sa mga nakikita ko na gumuhay tayo, Mga nag-naka-ankle support sila. Mm. So parang tinanong oh. ko kung nakakatulong ko. Yun pala yung ano na to. Sometimes, <laughs> it's their comfort blanket. Okay. Kasi nafe-feel mo Kami naman talaga eh, na may nakayakab sa'yo. Mm -hmm. Nafe-feel mo talaga na may nagko-compress yun sa joint mo. So, uy, parang iba yung feeling. ba? Mm -hmm. Pero, um, it's it's not 100% guarantee. Mm -hmm. ba? It's really just, as a term Support. Supportive lang. Hindi siya 100% substitute in essence. Pero ito, totoo ba yun yung iba daw na ang formation daw na ba yung mga high arch po ba yun? Ma sila daw po yung mga madaling mas spray? Or yung flat po. Or yung flat, flat po. Uh, uh, sabi lang usually mas madaling. Actually, daw. depende yan. Kasi uh, depende sa activity, number one. Pero I think pag-iisipin ko talaga although I'm not a foot specialist and and I will have to review on this, but if I'm going to consider it, pag high arch ka kasi, um, mas contracted yung tendons and ligaments mm. ng paa mo, as opposed to pagbagsak siya lahat na naka-straight. Yung, yung kumbaga parang architecturally or parang biomechanically speaking, pag nakaganyan ka, contracted yung muscles, ligaments, tendons, and everything else, as opposed to pag flat na flat yung paa mo, 
hindi. Mm-hmm. So I would think na yung mga mas contracted mas mas magsprain siguro sila. Mm-hmm. Although again, this one I cannot really say 100% kung which one is which for yung mga flat-footed and high mm-hmm. arch patients. But one thing is for sure, both of them are prone to have aches and pains in their feet kasi hindi normal yung kanilang um, biomechanics ng paan nila in essence. No? So, um, sometimes yung, yung sinasabi nila yung mga flat foot, lampa daw yan. Oh, madaling madaling oh. madaling oh. madapa. Whatever, <laughs> madaling madapa. Um, but I don't really think so. Alam mo yun, parang I think it's really Depende sa Parang kawawa pa. naman yung mga tao na sinasabihan <laughs> nila na nag-judgmental <laughs> tayo. Parang hindi naman. Oh. Now, okay, um, I don't know if we, yeah, I think we still have a few minutes for this strain. So, yes. ngayon, ang difference naman ng strain, mm-hmm. yung strain naman is if yung muscle, either belly or tendon naman, yung naapektuhan mo or yung, okay, yung injured part mm-hmm. mo. So, sabihin na natin, uh, I think one of the pinaka-common yung narinig yung hamstring strain. Yes. I pulled yes. my hamstring, hamstring sa ilalim ng thigh yun. Oo, oo. Tapos, or yung Achilles tendon. Mm-hmm. Um, yung tendon na mahaba dito sa likod ng ating uh, calf. Ano ba yun? Binti. Oo. So, mm-hmm. from yung, yung, yung bulky muscle sa likod ng calf or likod ng binti natin, meron siyang pahabang ganyan na connection papunta sa paa mo. Yun yung Achilles tendon. So, those are most, um, uh, I would say, the usual tendons mm-hmm. that you actually strain. No? So, what happens during strain naman? A strain, same thing like your ligament sprain, mm-hmm. you can actually just stretch it, irritate it to pull it. Alam, alam po exactly yung nagsistretch yung muscle natin. Yung muscle natin, fiber yung, itself. Yung fibers. Oo, yung fiber. belly mismo mm-hmm. ng yung muscle. Or yun nga, yung tendon, yung body ng tendon. So, um, pwedeng mapunit or pwedeng ma-stretch or pwedeng ma-irritate mo lang siya. Now, paano mo magagawa to? Pwedeng repetitive movements, paulit-ulit na, na activities, na exercises, um, minsan maling technique ng pagkilos, mm-hmm. or... Minsan naman malas ka lang talaga na pumunta siya from like nagrerun ka sobrang eccentric yung 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 takbo mo na pull mo yung hamstring mo kunyari like uh, say sa Olympics ganyan tapos talagang bigay na bigay ka di ba tapos gusto mo talaga mabilis yung takbo mo parang nasobrahan yung contraction ng thigh muscle tapos makikita nyo, yung biglang tumitigil sila nas nag naglilimp sila ganyan kasi oh. hawak sila sa likod ng thighs nila most probably it's a hamstring strain kapag sa mga strains doc yung parang level of pain ng strain sa sprain. Kasi sabi niyo po, yun ay pag grade 1 or grade 0 mm-hmm. na sprain. Parang kaya same pa po. Thing, same thing. Pag punit na punit same talaga siya, parang ang tinadyakan dun sa area na may oh. pain. May mga grades din po ba ang sprain? Oo. Oh, oh. mm-hmm. Ang strain. Oo. Oh, oh. Yun nga. Kasi from a stretch, uh, from an irritation to a stretch to a total punit. So may grading din talaga siya. So ganun din siya. Um, uh, ang Okay. Uh, mas... Mas maraming blood supply sa muscle, mm-hmm. so mas higher chances of winning, of healing Ay, in okay. essence. Mas madali po siya. Uh, mas oh. madaling maghilom yung muscle strain kaysa sa ligament strain. Mm-hmm. Ah, sorry. Mas ma- muscle strain kaysa sa ligament sprain. Right. Kasi uh, mas maraming blood flow na pupunta dun sa muscle right. itself. Eh. Mm-hmm. Pero syempre, pag fully torn talaga siya, syempre naman yung comparison mo dun sa konti lang yung punit, dun sa punit na punit, eh di mas maganda yung healing nung konti lang yung punit. So kapag sa mga nasa-stretch na gano'n, kunyari sa strain or sprain, sa mga nagsa-stretch, bumabalik pa po ba siya sa dati niyang parang muscles more, muscles, mas may chance, mm-hmm. ligaments, lesser chance. Hindi masyari. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Parang yung ligaments kasi, hinahalin tulad ko rin yun siya. Alam niyo yung elastic ko, yung mm-hmm. pantalan ng buhok. Yung mm-hmm. pa. Elastic. So, pag ulit ka ng ulit ng pu- hila ng hila, oh, parang, parang lumuluag na oh. siya, di ba? Hanggang sa napunit mo mm-hmm. na nga siya. So, parang ganun yung comparison ko dun sa ligament.